cut my throat right here right now add me to this pile end my suffering do not say these things we will not cure evil with evil for if we try the pain will grow worse than the illness that brought it upon you do you see what i have done i must do something bold to erase all doubt in my father's mind that his son was anything but a coward when a man suffers without end in sight and takes no pleasure in living his life day by day, wishing for death, he shouldn't live out all his years. It's pitiful when men hold on to false hopes. A great man must live in honour or, or die an honourable death. That's all I have to say. Poor woman. He has died and we must weep. By whose hand did he go down? By his own. Look at how the sword juts out of the earth. How could I have been so blind? It's really poignant and I think it's a really powerful medium to talk about PTSD. We need to understand that really we are the same human beings and the same structures in terms of our brain and our connections as they were so many years ago. So we are the same computer we have the same emotions and we have the same connections. It's interesting, PTSD and, and the willingness to talk about it. And I'll be completely honest, before I went to Afghanistan, I was probably a bit of a skeptic about post-traumatic stress disorder. Ajax's story is very familiar. Through the guilt phases and the loss of control and the loss of understanding with yourself. There's still too much stigma and probably not enough understanding. Who hears my story? It only seems to be the case that unless you have a black body, you, there's no way to, to relate. And, and it's a, that's a sad song. That's the sad song for me. After an early performance of Theater of War, a general stood up, a female general, and she took on my question, why did Sophocles write the play? And this general said, I think he wrote the play to comfort the afflicted and to afflict the comfortable. We hope we did a little of both for everyone today on this Zoom call. Comfort that we can come together across disparate experiences, nationalities, faith traditions, ethnicities, genders. It's been an honor. Take care.